Hi, I'm back here again in SwiftPause back office and SwiftPause touch. In the last video I demonstrated how to create a filtered search button to search for all of the products in a category and that was this button that I created here which searches for all of the juice products in the juice category. That's quite nice, it does arrange them in alphabetical order um, but there are a few different ways that you can get a similar result, so I'm just going to talk about those now. I'm going to start back here in SwiftPaws back office and on my layout designer tab which I already have open. I'm going to start by talking about a different kind of function. called category prompt just here so it is a function link type button um, just like the filtered search um, just called category prompt and this is quite similar to um, the filtered search however it does only allow you to search by uh, category um, so I've just clicked on the more settings of that category prompt button and you do have an option to choose the category that you want to display. I'm just going to leave the rest of these default for now and click OK. save my changes and send that down to the terminal. And apply the changes. You can see that my button is now here and if I click on it you'll see a little pop-up window with a display of all the particular items that you're looking for. does function very similar to how this one functions however it gives you a little bit more flexibility over um, how these keys are displayed here um, if you have uh, many of them um, they are displayed in a, a 4x5 grid and you can navigate between the different um, pages of, of items The button colors that you saw there can be altered in the more settings of this category prompt button. The back color and the front color. And you can change the order in which the description, very similar to the category, uh, to the filtered search. Now there's no real reason to use one over the other. Um, the filtered search is more flexible in terms of how you can filter different things out. Um, but it does display in a fairly plain grid of, of products. Whereas here I do have a bit more flexibility in how the products are actually displayed. There is a third um, method of handling this sort of uh, um, task, which I'll show you now. In the layout designer, um, what we're looking at here is just one of many layouts. Um, and I could create an entirely new layout just for my juice products and link directly to that. So I'll do that now. On the main menu, um, you do have an option for layouts. And in here, you can add a new layout and you'll be prompted to specify the name of the layout. So I'll call that Juice. That'll create and immediately navigate to the layout that you've created with two default buttons on here, Home and Return. These are special function buttons. Um, they do pretty much what they say. Uh, this button 
will go to whatever the home layout is. In this instance, it's the cafe layout. And this button will just simply navigate to the previous screen that you were on, uh, whatever that screen happened to be. So now I'll populate this layout with my products by filtering the um, product category to juice, highlighting these products or just doing them one by one if I wanted to and dragging them onto the main screen and then you can reorder them and give them more descriptive uh, captions, change their size and their color. You can also make changes to the size of the buttons in bulk so if I click on tomato juice, hold my shift key on my keyboard and then click on apple juice, it's going to select all of the different items uh, in between there and then I can change the width to 2 and it affects all of the buttons. So just a quicker way of um, adjusting how your products look. Now if there's something here that I don't want to display I can get rid of it quite easily just by clicking on it and pressing delete on my keyboard and that product has now gone away. I'll save my changes. Now I have created this layout but I haven't yet linked to it so I'll do that now. So we need to start back here on the cafe layout. I'll just navigate there now and I want another button down here which links to that layout that I created. So I'll click on a, on a blank button, set my link type to layout and then using the little ellipse here specify which layout to look at. Just here. Save my changes, and that's pretty much it. So I'm going to send those changes down to the terminal and demonstrate how that works now. So there's my layout button. If I click on that, the entire top layout changes to the layout that I created and all of my juice products are available here. If I press return, it takes me back to the bar, uh, cafe layout. So there you go, there's three different ways of choosing um, or, or of uh, displaying a set of products, um, either from a category or a group or in the instance of a layout, you can put whatever you want there. It doesn't have to be all from the same category or the entire contents of a category. Um, so between those three layouts, you should have the flexibility to um, create um, layouts or filtered searches that display exactly what you want and not more information than the clerk needs. I hope that's been helpful. Um, as always, if there are any questions, go ahead and leave me a comment and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.